James Bush, who is a professor at Waynesburg uh, University. I should know that. Uh, it's near Pennsylvania. And what I like about James is he takes movie clips, TV clips, and uses them as openers in his class to get his students engaged about probability and statistics. So I'm going to show you a clip today, and then we're going to do a simulation. This is about a 90-second clip, and this is an awkward little presentation area here. Some of you might recognize this, this situation, so it's a 90-second oh, yeah. clip. I'm here with the one and only Tom Cruise. There's a new movie coming out next Friday, Oblivion, and we're going to go head-to-head -head in egg Russian roulette. You know, we're one and one. Yeah, I think I won the Water Wars. You did win I the Water Wars, and I won, I won the Rage Yeah, and the Rage Tops. You're so like the, two to one. Yeah, so here we go. So I this is the tiebreaker. Higgins, you want to explain how this works? Yes, James. Higgins. Here in my hand, I have one dozen eggs. Oh. Eight of them hard boiled. Mm -hmm. Four of them still raw. <laughs> you and Tom will take your selection one egg at a time and smashing it on the top. I'm going to go ahead. Come on, man. <laughs> you will not know which are raw and which are hard boiled. <laughs> Once you choose an egg, you must smash that egg on your head. No problem. First, we smash two raw eggs on that loses. Tom, as guest of this show, you will choose the first egg. <laughs> <laughs> Because of time, I will not play the whole thing, but I will reveal later. Uh, and we don't have enough time. She, look at the daggers. It's on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but, I do a thing. Oh, no. No. This is not happening. I have happening. here one dozen fake eggs. Ah, oh. uh, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Eight of them are empty. Four of them have stuff in them. You will grab an egg. You will carry it half above your head. The first person to unrelease two eggs loses. Edge can go first. Okay. And I have ten minutes. Okay. <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> Say. Uh. Say. <laughs> Oh, uh, got one. One for Hedge. Hoping for glitter. <laughs> oh, I thought about that. <laughs> Honestly, why did it go glitter? Did you feel that was different? Yes. No. You could feel before you opened it. Could you feel it was different? No, 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 it's no. tough to tell. No, glitter kind of shakes. That's why I don't use glitter. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. oh. There it is. Oh, there's three left, there's three left out of the six. Um, Ooh. What are the chances of There's a front building. Oh, three out of five are left. Okay. If I did this right. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you had a good run. <laughs> <laughs> class, apparently it is something called a hypogeometric distribution. Yeah, I'm not doing that in AP statistics, but it occurred to me that there's a lot of probability lessons in there even for like 6th, 7th, 8th graders. Can anyone share what probability question within there could kids come up with or could you come up with for your classes? What questions could you ask? Mike. Oh, is it better to go first or second? Give them the choice. Should you go first or second? Love it. Anything else? Yep. Does each thing, how does it change the probability of getting them? Right. We're talking about dependent events. By the end, it got much more likely that they were going to get one of the raw, in air quotes, eggs. Any other questions? Yep. It's all the people in the back. Oh, my God. Go ahead. In that scenario, how screwed was Matt on that last <laughs> <laughs> And if he didn't get it, then what would Hedge's reaction have been? I think I was about to get punched in the shoulder. So I see a lot of inroads. So for those who teach probability, and probability is now much more, probability is much more of a common core thing we're seeing in sixth, seventh, eighth grade. Please just don't teach dice, cards, all that stuff. 
please use these engaging videos and things um, from the real, real world to try to engage kids. I don't think I used 10 minutes, but I'm done, and thank you very much. <laughs>